Cheers to you, Matt. Thank you. Happy birthday, babe. <laughs>to another Disney day but today's not any normal Disney day today's a very special Disney day because today's Rachel's birthday <laughs> yeah so this is a very belated Disney birthday we were supposed to be here last year for Rachel's birthday and we had a whole it was going to be a really nice trip wasn't it we had on a cruise. yeah it was going to be on a cruise um, but Covid reared its ugly head and stuff happened but yeah so we, we've, we've kind of put it to this trip we're in Disney World we're celebrating Rachel's birthday it's gonna be a really it's gonna be a chill day it's not gonna be a, a, our usual kind of action-packed rushing here and there yeah it's gonna be a really chill day like Rachel's picked everything she wanted to do so we're heading over to Magic Kingdom um, only got one or two possibly at max rides that we're gonna do Rachel's just, just gonna look around the shop to maybe spend some of her birthday money um, yeah, just really chill, just taking in Magic Kingdom. And then over the evening, uh, she wants to go back into Magic Kingdom to watch the fireworks. Yeah. Um, and then we're coming straight back out. We're heading over to Grand Floridian. She wants to have a couple of drinks at the Enchanted Rose. Yeah. Uh, and then we have got dining reservations at California Grill over at the Contemporary Resort to have our dinner. And we also get to watch the Christmas show fireworks from there. So we're watching two sets of fireworks. Yeah. It's going to be a really chill day. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to it. Um, before we get on with the action though, Rachel's just got a couple of cards that she's going to open that we brought over from friends and family back home. What's my name? This is my card. <laughs> <laughs> it's Maleficent. I really struggled with something to get you because I couldn't, I couldn't put anything in the case to bring over. Yeah? Because it just would have took up space and stuff. <laughs> You're going to have to pack a little bit. Why? Because I booked this into Animal Kingdom last for the weekend. Are you joking? No. I'm in the Savannah view. Really? Yeah, we've got to go in there. Oh my god! Oh my god! I don't know what I need to pack. So we're checking out of Coronado Springs for a couple of nights. Surprised? Yeah. Yeah. I tried, I tried, I was so, that was, I did that while I was here and it was, thankfully, the, I went to reception and just, I thought I could book it through reception but you had to book it through World Disney Travel yeah. so I was like oh because I always suck at this stuff Rachel organises everything like all the booking and everything we do here Rachel's the brains behind it and I'm just like along for the ride so me trying to book something I was having an anxiety attack and I was having to they give me the number to call for uh, the travel at the Walt Disney Travel Company I had to call from the room and then I was having to say to Rachel how, how am I going to find time to go and call you know, and leave Rachel. So we was having a pool day, and I was saying to Rachel, oh, "I'm just going to go off and do some recording." Oh, she was, she was Two like, hours what, later. "Where are you?" Like, what, you know, I'm, I'm coming back to the room. And I'm like, "No, I'm in the room. Don't come back to the room." But I hope so. But the guy was so good who I spoke with. Like, I explained the situation, and I said, "Look, I'm awful at this kind of stuff. So here's what's going on. Here's what I want to do. Just." help me <laughs> and he did he just went okay these are your options this is what you can do this is what you can do this is what you can do this. and he explained everything to me so yeah animal kingdom lodge for tonight tomorrow night with a savannah view oh and then we're, we're coming back to coronado springs for our remaining two three nights Thank you. Wow. I'll let you do the honors. Three, two, six, two. Be kind to us, room. 
I'll bring you back, it's alright. I got it. Very nice. Wow. Hey, this is the old. That's the old telly. That's what we was after at Coronado. I don't think you can get it. <laughs> Some kind of buffalo. Oh, my God, this is incredible. Come on. oh yeah. I like the way they put food out so they eat. Yeah. But by the rooms. There's some kind of birds over there. Oh yeah. That's so peaceful. So with this room I was given the option whether I wanted two queens or a king. It wasn't that much more to upgrade for the king. I think it worked out to about $60 or something to get the one king instead of two queens. But uh, I like the art on the wall. I spotted a Simba as well on the drawers. Oh yeah. Like a little Simba. Hmm. Oh yeah, I can't believe they've got... <laughs> I can't believe they've got this. See, at Coronado, it's like a, it's different, isn't it? Yeah. Do you reckon this channel. is, do you reckon this is just a deluxe resort thing? Because we had it at Old Key West. Or maybe it's just a, not in Coronado. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, the usual stuff. We've got the coffee machine. Yeah, imagine mini fridge here. Wardrobe space. What is that? Oh, is that a steamer? Oh, yeah. Extra pillows and blankets. Oh. More coffees and stuffs. Uh, and yeah, oh look, look, look. Oh, that's cute. Love it. Yeah. It's massive shower. Yeah, it's much, much bigger than the, uh, well, yeah, I suppose it would be bigger than Coronado, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's a Coronado's a Madra. Yeah. Nice. Very nice, though. So. so, yeah, back to your regular scheduled programming. We're off to Magic Kingdom. Uh, we just got down to the bus stops here at Animal Kingdom Lodge. It's the same kind of deal with all the other resorts. You get your next bus time, you've got your schedule and what have you here so you can see what time your next bus is. I like that. That's because it's a vacation club resort, isn't it? Welcome yeah, home. Next. That's next, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, and this is us, Magic Kingdom. Oh, have you seen the graphic on the side? It's very fitting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, whose birthday is it? All right, and what's your name? celebratory birthday photo shoot. I'll put some of the pictures in there. But now we're gonna head over and do one ride, certainly one ride. We've only done it once this trip and that was our vlog and that's a uh, haunted mansion. Definitely my favorite ride and certainly one of Rachel's favorite rides. Wait, come on. Well, we wanted to go to Casey's, but uh, like walking up, it's absolutely rammed. 
So I just said, why don't we check out the mobile order, which was an absolutely amazing idea because yeah, we, we went onto the mobile app, uh, picked what we wanted, it's paid, um, we've just got to wait now. It's just like when you order like Uber Eats or something, it's just uh, we're preparing your order and then I presume we get the green light to go and just pick it up somewhere because uh, it's not looking very fun over there to uh, navigate through that at the moment. Yeah, so we just pretty much have to wait until this progress bar gets right to the end and then we got the green light. Corn, dog, nugs. I have been waiting how long to try these? A long time. A long time. I saw these. It's got to be like getting on for like a year and a half now, isn't it? I saw them and I was like, I need them. And I can't believe we've had to wait until the second week of the trip. <laughs> to be honest, I forgot our first time here in Magic Kingdom. Yeah. Uh, yeah, French fries. I'm ready to wait for a very what? What kind of dog is that? It's a plant-based slaw burger. You don't like hot dogs, do you? Really? No, I don't like hot dogs. So you thought you'd give that a whirl? Yeah. And a Fanta update. This is probably the biggest Fanta I've ever had slash seen in my life. It's like the old. Remember the old McDonald's super size? It's, it's like that. Do we ask for like large, or was it just a standard? That's okay. Just size. <laughs> standard. Slush a little bit. It was a shorter trip to Magic Kingdom back there than we would have liked, but we did decide that we wanted to get back to the room for sunset just to look out on the savannah to see if there's any, you know, animal activity, as we thought that would be the best time for them to be active. Um, so yeah, the only thing we didn't really get done was do uh, some shopping, which we're doing on our very last day. We're having a whole day in Disney Springs to do our shopping, so we can just do it then. And plus, mind you, we're coming back to Magic Kingdom in a couple of hours, yeah, yeah. but um, we don't really want to be carrying away brown bags. No. So, but yeah, so we are going to be just doing shopping on our last day. But yeah, heading back to the resort now, we've got to remember to get the Animal Kingdom Lodge bus, yes. not the Coronado Springs bus. <laughs> So we got some coffee cakes. Oh my god. <laughs> and flowers. Are they real? Let's take them with us to, well, to Coronado Springs. These were called, I think they were called Sprinkle Her with Pixie Dust. Yeah, they've got all you can, yeah, you can, on. But it does say if you look in the middle, you should be able to see something. What do you mean? I don't know. It was round the back. There's a Tinkerbell in here. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it was called Sprinkle with Pixie Dust. <laughs> Babe, we've come, we've come rushing back to the room. You haven't even looked out. I got distracted. But look. Oh my god, there's giraffes. And a zebra. Oh, it's the baby! This is the new baby zebra here. You gotta be quiet. Yeah. I think it is a little baby, isn't it? Look at this giraffe's munching. Oh, look at this guy. You got some, what are these here? Antelope. Oh. oh my god, that is the baby. It is, isn't it? What's his name, do we know? So I think our plan for the next hour or so is to tuck into some of Rachel's birthday cupcakes and enjoy the sunset on the savannah and this view is absolutely incredible. I mean I wasn't too sure what to expect with this savannah view because I appreciate there's a lot of rooms, it's a big savannah, I'm not sure whether how many animals they could put in but I mean I was basically worried that you weren't going to see any animals if I'm being real but how many, can, can you count about what, 20 animals right in front of us now, Rach? Yeah. And we've got, there are some, there was ostriches that just passed. Oh, is that, is that that zebra and the, the baby going off now? Yeah, over there, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's like, this is birds right in front of us as well. Yeah, so there's, we've got a, still a giraffe over there eating. And then we had all these like antelope or what, what are they, like gazelle? Yeah, it's incredible.
few hours later now, slight change of plans, we were going to go over into Magic Kingdom and watch the fireworks, but we got ready and we're almost, like, Rachel's in heels and stuff, and we don't really want to be on Main Street getting pushed and shoved around and stuff, do you know what I mean, we're kind of like dressed, yeah. <laughs> so we don't want to get like bashed around on Main Street fighting in crowds to watch fireworks, um, and we are going to get to watch fireworks later on at um, California Grill anyway, so we thought we'd just you know sit on sit on the um, the balcony a bit longer, watch the animals and stuff. Um, we're gonna head straight over to the uh, Enchanted Rose. We're gonna head straight over to the Enchanted Rose. We've got about two hours in there. Like I said, just take it easy, have some drinks. Um, yeah, spend about two hours in there, and then we're gonna get the monorail round to the Contemporary, aren't we? Yeah. To uh, California Grill about 10 p.m. Still can't get over how incredible this lobby is. I mean, that, that tree is pff, huge, it's absolutely huge. I mean, we are spending the whole, well, the whole day tomorrow here on the resort, so I'll definitely do a bit of walking and talking and show you around the best I can. But yeah, we just did decide on a pool day tomorrow. But wow, this resort, I think down here is, what restaurant's down here, Rach? Boma. Boma. Yeah, so we walked, and there's a restaurant down there. Incredible. Yes, Ben. Just got dropped off at Grand Floridian and there's Monorail Blue right above us. Awesome. Let's go. I bet the tree here is going to be superb. And there's a gingerbread house. Is it edible? I don't think you can eat the actual house, no, but I think you can buy some gingerbread. <laughs> Wow, Merry Christmas guys, and a Happy New Year, wow, it's playing Little Mermaid, and the, and the piano, I've got gadgets and gears, I'm going to sing. <laughs> 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 oh god, this is real. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, we can walk around. Perfect. I'm the champagne guy. <laughs> <laughs> Superb. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Cheers to you, Matt. Thank you. Happy birthday, babe. <laughs> I like it. drink on Disney World site, head over there, really nice, I mean really professional, they just couldn't do enough for you could they, they make, they make you feel really special, um, so that was a really nice way to start the night wasn't it, uh, heading over to obviously California Grill now, and he has just show, well we got Monorail Gold which is awesome, we were actually talking I about that I said we wanted earlier. Monorail Gold, we said we wanted Monorail Gold, that's the only Monorail that got a 50th overlay skin wasn't it, yeah. <laughs> so with the California Grill, you go to the second floor and check in and then once you've checked in you get directed to a private elevator which takes you straight up to the 16th floor which is where the California Grill is. <laughs> Slapped straight in the face with all these wines and champagnes to start off with. Set you off right I'm sure but then yeah these views are absolutely phenomenal and the, the vibe in here is absolutely incredible.
So yeah, just briefly showing you the over overlook of the restaurant there. You got the kitchens down the bottom. Uh, me and Rachel did already get seated. We got an absolutely great view of Magic Kingdom, which we should be able to see the fireworks from really well, the uh, Christmas fireworks. And in, what, half an hour, we've got the fireworks, which will be starting over at Magic Kingdom. They do dim the lights, and I think they put the music in as well to the actual restaurant. So we should just be able to see these fireworks going off right from our table which is absolutely incredible. We went for the Rosé Regala here. We had this at Steakhouse, didn't we, when we came in 20, what, 2019? 2020? 2018. 2018, wow. Yeah, we went to the Steakhouse and the, our server recommended this to us. It said it was Christmas in a glass. And it is. And it absolutely is, it's phenomenal. So if you do ever come here and you get the chance to get the to get the Rosé Regala, go for it, you won't be disappointed. Sparkling red, but it's just, it's perfect. Rachel's deciding to dare sushi. I don't think I've literally ever seen you eat sushi. No. What made you pull the trigger here? Something different. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mains are up and I went for the fillet of beef steak. I had that well done. And Rachel went for the, what did you have, Rachel? Seared chicken. Seared chicken. And we've got roughly, what, 20 minutes to wait until the fireworks? Yeah. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy the fun. So nice. Chocolate sauce, honey crunch, lemon curd, carrot cake, butterscotch. Love Thanks. Okay, so have a little birthday cake. <laughs> of California Grill. <laughs> I'd say you get your money's worth, guys. <laughs> Getting kicked out of California Grill, weren't we? Yeah. <laughs> Got our marching orders. Who's <laughs> <laughs> doing it? Come on, you gotta look, we're running out of battery, we're running out of memory. And with those marching orders, we've been kicked out of the California Grill and we're getting into a taxi on the way back to the resort. It's been, no, in all seriousness, it's been a really good day. It's probably been my best night we've ever had in Walt Disney World. Yeah, we've had an ice day. It's been really good. Um, tomorrow we're having a pool day at Animal Kingdom Lodge, so we'll, we'll show you around the pool and what have you. And um, probably be a late start because 
we were going to be lying in bed. <laughs> Stop it, no. Come back. <laughs> Thank you.